the Joe Rogan experience. Is there any other way to handle this in terms of uh, quarantining or social distancing? Like, is there would there would it be possible to quarantine the people that are, are at most risk instead of the general population? Well, the, well, again, the problem gets to the fact that um, you know, again, there's this idea that this is only among older Americans and people over the age of 70, diabetes, hypertension. But now, we, as, a, as the Centers for Disease Control has been reporting, uh, we've had this big flux of young adults getting very sick and in the ICU. So at what point do you say pretty much everybody potentially is at risk? Then among the children, even though the, the children generally are children, adolescents seem to do pretty well with this virus. Now we realize uh, from studies coming out of China that was published in uh, the journal called Pediatrics, put out by the American Academy of Pediatrics, that about 10% of infants are getting very sick with this virus. So infants are at risk. So you start adding it up. Okay, older people, uh, those with underlying diabetes, hypertension, and younger adults, and 40 and 50-year-olds as well. And we're hearing all these stories on CNN and elsewhere about, you know, valued colleagues, you know, in their 50s and that kind of thing getting really sick or even even dying. And then infants, after a while, it's just, it's, you can't, you can't slice it that fine. It's it, it becomes impossible to do it. 